How's it going everyone? So here is its sprint. A net A8 plus. Still printing it. I'm printing a, a bearing filament holder. So this print here is from the Ender 5 Plus, which I'm still printing. I'm going to be doing a comparison of the prints of how well they do. I just like to make a note that um, each print quality is going to vary depending on the machine and also how well it is tuned and also the way the machine is designed you know whether it be a Mendel style where the bed is moving or a card cartesian or cartesian I believe I'm pronouncing that right I haven't had it I haven't tried the core XY setup but I'm kind of um, curious to want to get one just so I can test out the print quality of it but Overall, the print quality of the Ender 5 Plus is very, very good in my opinion. It's probably, probably one of the best 3D printer uh, I've owned as far as how well it prints. And I did, I do own a Flash Forge, which is right here. And um, I'm only trying to run two machines right now at the same time. I don't want to run up the wattage, but. Um, yeah, this one is good during its time. I still use it, but um, in terms of quality, it varies when, when it comes to print quality uh, between the ANET A8 and the Flash Forge. But the Ender 5, the Ender 5 Plus, the print quality on it is very, very good. It's better than the ANET A8 Plus, and it's also better than the Flash Forge Creator Pro. Uh, this is a 2015 model. Um, I do have some sample prints here for the. I've always had trouble, this is from the Flash Forge. I've always had trouble with um, one of those, that shape right there where it's curving up like a bowl almost. And the bottom's okay, even the straight, it's just right there and also at the very end. So yeah, just... so that's from the Flash Forge. There's also some more print, uh, 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 what you call it? Uh, Press prints from the Flash Forge. It's not bad on this one. It actually did a pretty good job. And this is a little belt tensioner here. It doesn't. It doesn't go in where it's supposed to. Like this is supposed to go in there, and it's, it's kind of not. So this was print uh, printed all at the same time. These two pieces. Uh, I usually try to experiment between uh, one at a time or all at once. And here is the Ender Pro. If I can uh, hold them up next to each other. That's the Ender Pro. Even on it, even on its bad side right here, it's still pretty good. Um, I am trying to still tune the Flash Forge. Um, ever since I owned it, I mean, right out of the box, it prints. It works. Um, some of the print is hit and miss um, it's going to depend on what I'm printing but most of the time when I bought it I needed it for prototyping uh, so I always got around certain areas where it wasn't really strong at printing so yeah this is the flash forge here and you get the internet A8 which is this one here so the internet A8 um, in my opinion it did probably the worst out of both of them uh, out of both of the Flash Forge and the Anet. The Anet, the, it, there's just a lot of, it still printed its actual shape. It would probably be, it would still work. Um, this, this, these pieces are actually uh, uh, extensioners, like an adjustable extensioner for the Anet A8 Plus. I was gonna do a, a tensioner, but I might not even bother upgrading the Anet. I might, um, I'm thinking about rebuilding it. Uh, that might be a whole nother video, but so yeah. So there's the print quality guys side by side.
and it has uh, it doesn't have smooth this one you know you can see the ridges but the surfaces are a whole lot smoother this is for the ender 5 and then and the ana a8 plus uh, you know it has kind of rough surface finish uh, i think it has a lot to do with the moving bed and um, it's also not stock by the way because i've i have kept having trouble with the extruder you see how it's orange because i replaced it it used to have a plastic one on there with um, it had some sort of metal bracket and it just kept coming loose when i print i would see the the, the heat block would actually uh, start moving after a while when it's printing and it also leaks as well I did replace this with this one, but this one is still kind of leaking, but not as bad as the old one. Um, I think the biggest issue with the a A8 Plus is um, it's the bed's too big, it's too heavy, uh, at least in my opinion. You have to slow down the print quality, that or enable some sort of jerk control on your uh, slicer settings. And also the X gantry right now it's probably heavy since I added that aluminum uh, extruder tensioner. Um, what would be some? I want to do uh, like an E3D mod on it uh, or something to line it like a Bowden setup. I'm you know I'm very very impressed with uh, the Bowden. I wasn't too much of a fan of them at first because I wanted to print in TPU, but I'm gonna experiment also with the Capricorn. Uh, tubing and then I'm going to try putting TB, uh, TPU with it. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of the, the direct drives but the print quality on Bowden's, oh my goodness, like, especially when the, when the machine is set up right, it's really really good. Uh, I'm going to do a final shot on this one when it's done. Actually maybe I could just uh, shine the light on it real quick. Yeah, you can see it looks really good even on that part right there. Usually the flash forge would struggle right there, that shape where it starts to kind of curve up or like a bowl shape. It would always struggle. I've always had trouble printing in round uh, round objects. Uh, it always struggles at that point, but once it's up past half and up, it's okay. Let's see how this one's doing. This one's not doing too bad. Actually, it's doing better. Well, I'll, I'll do a comparison video once all of this is done. I'm, I really like the A-Net uh, at first when I have it. I'm still, I'm still tweaking with it. I'm still messing with it. As you can see, all the wiring is kind of a mess. And because um, um, I keep, I keep, uh, at least right now, I'm not done with the setup. So I'm constantly maybe swapping out parts whether it be fan or extruders or the, uh, ne the NEMA's uh, motor on there. So I leave all this wiring out so that way in case I need to take something out or swap them out, you know, I don't have to do a lot of work. I mean, it's probably not much more work when, you know, when it has the loom on there, but I just like it like this for now until I do a final setup on it or until I'm 100% decided of what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I might do a conversion on this uh, printer. Uh, I'll probably do, uh, you probably watch for uh, keep an eye out on my some of the, my next videos. Um, having some pretty crazy ideas with it. it the thing uh, that's kind of hesitating me from doing any further mods with this printer is, um, I can I can just buy another printer. I mean, yeah, they're pricey and stuff, but it's just you know on, on your weekend sometimes you just want to enjoy your day off. And um, I mean, I, I do I do assembly, and sometimes I need to take my I give my hands a break. But you know, there are times where I'm kind of itching to build stuff. So, but anyways. Yep, that's it for now for this video. Oh yeah, here's actually here's some more test prints actually from uh, more of the Ender Pro. I'm very very impressed with the Ender. I mean not Ender Pro, but the Ender uh, Ender Five Plus. Just the print quality. Like, oh my goodness. Now I'm now I'm curious about the Core XY. See, this is the you know, Ender Five Plus here came out really really good oops dropping stuff here this is the other one this is the y the y axis tensioner for the a net a8 so yeah i was printing a lot of tensioners because i'm thinking uh, on the the, the a net a8 that um i'm having print quality issues possibly because the belts aren't tightened but it might be the case or it might not be i'll find out when i swap them out 
Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Hope this video has uh, been helpful. I know I did a kind of couple of rambling about it, all these printers, but I'm kind of just sharing my experience with them, so hopefully it'll be useful to somebody. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.